Uh, we are now in Oslo, uh, Norberg Kirke, Norberg Church. It was founded in 1962. Uh, we serve approximately 15,000 people uh, with this church. Music is very important for this church. We have a lot of choirs, we have a lot of educated people uh, musically and uh, artistically uh, that use this church. It's like the um, culture house of this area of the town. Um, a lot of volunteers use this church. I use the organ for all kinds of uh, purposes here in church. Recitals, funerals, services and also weddings of course. So it's the main music source here in this church. Yeah, we had a pipe organ. That was kind of mixed with the parts from different organs that was uh, putting out of use. So it was never really an organ that was made for this church. The old organ was not a good organ. Uh, the sound was very poor and uh, the mechanics were uh, uh, not good. They were old and too much used. So it was uh, almost, um, it was not good for my health playing on it. We were looking for a new organ, uh, a new organ that could fill the needs uh, and the demands that this congregation and the people of the, this area has. Uh, the dream was to get a new organ with pipes and all the good stuff that we were used to, uh, but that was not possible. We didn't have the, enough money to do, to do that. So then we uh, started looking elsewhere and uh, a digital uh, option was, uh, was tested. Uh, our organist started to check different uh, types and different uh, brands and, and test them, playing them uh, to test what did he prefer, what, what was the best out there. It had to be flexible, it had to be, have a, a good playing comfort and I had to uh, do every project I wanted to do. Because with the old organ, I just couldn't do what I wished to do. It was too bad. And now I could do everything. For example, I have played the whole Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto, where the organ is playing the orchestral part. And I could never have done that with the old organ. The organist was very happy. When, uh, when he uh, played the, the Johannes Monarch for the first time, he was smiling with his whole body and was very excited. So, uh, so we were very pleased with the result. The sound is very concise. It can be big, but it doesn't stiffen. It's just so organic and fluently. And the single voices speaks so expressively so that it can talk and it can sing uh, and I think it's very flexible uh, and I'm just so uh, satisfied with the sound. The realization process uh, went very smoothly. Uh, we had a good uh, help from the, from the person who sold us the organ and we also had very good help from the company in Holland. Uh, they came, I think it was two times, uh, to voice uh, the organ and to make it fit uh, our room and our church uh, in the best possible way. I was so impressed by the voicing. Uh, um, they were working so hard, listening so intensely to this, now, to this sound. Uh, and it was obviously that uh, those, the, the skills they had were um, extremely high, extremely good.
Yeah, the church members and the people that uses the church are very pleased with the organ. Even the, uh, when people have to step in to do services or funerals and they don't play here that, uh, on a regular basis, they are very pleased with the organ situation in this church. People who I think never noticed even the organ before now come to me and tell the organ is sounding so well. Um, and, and suddenly they are actually listening to the organ. I would definitely recommend you know, Johannes to other churches. I think there's a big potential that we can get good organs for a lesser price than we have today. If I'm satisfied, you can just look at my face. <laughs> I'm very satisfied, it's all that I wanted. I'm definitely satisfied with Johannes. <laughs> <laughs>